right, y'all, come on back. Come on, come on. Y'all hit that like button. Let's do this potato salad real quick. Thank you. Hello, diamonds. All right, thank y'all. Okay, y'all, come on, let's get started. All right, so I got my bowl. I got my mayonnaise. Um, I like regular um sweet relish, but I have some dill relish just in case I need some extras because I only got that little bit. I got some mustard. Um, onion powder because I don't like nothing crunchy in my potato salad. So I put onion powder. Oh, not lemon pepper. Okay, onion powder, sugar, celery salt. I don't like nothing crunchy, so I put the season, the flavors, and black pepper. I got my potatoes and I got some eggs. So you cook your potatoes. Do not um, do not uh, rinse your potatoes off. Just drain them and let them cool if you got time. And let's just say if you think that you don't cook your potatoes too long, what you do is let your put the potatoes cool all the way down and they won't break up like mashed potatoes on you. They'll, they'll stay firm. All right, so I got the potatoes. We're going to peel the eggs and get them in there. All right, so I got eggs. So the only thing you want to do is just smash them. You ain't got to be doing all that cutting. Just smash it up. I'm going to have to mix this in a different bowl. And then just put it back in this bowl because that's going to be too good. Hold up, y'all.
mixing it now. Okay, so just smash the eggs. Grandma loves her some potato salad. All right, y'all, so we're going to add some black pepper. Onion powder for the flavor. Or the onion that you like in the um potato salad. I only like seasons. That's it. I don't like all that stuff. Celery salt. For the flavor of the celery, if you like celery. I'm going to put some mustard. You only need just like a little teaspoon to a tablespoon of it if you're making a little bit relish I know I'm going to need some more so I'm going to add a little bit more relish mayonnaise and I like some sugar in mine got to have the sugar in my got to have the sugar in the potato salad that's if you like your potato salad sweet. Just put as much sugar you think you might like. You never tried it with the sugar, give it a try. Mayonnaise. You don't need a lot of mayonnaise because you don't want it like too wet, like soupy wet. And then we're just going to mix that up. And I don't like too much mustard in mine either. I don't like mustard potato salad. And I don't like my potato salad too chunky neither. I kind of like it where the potatoes break down. You know, it'd be a few whips away from mashed potatoes messing with me. Some chunky mashed potatoes. I don't like I don't like how they be just how they buy them in the store and if you can see all the chunk. Uh-uh. I don't like that. I like mine's like that. Taste that. Dang. Okay, so now let me add just some a little of my little seasoning up in there. I don't really need nothing else for real. I just had to add some of my seasoning to it, you know, to top it off. So, baby, that seasoning right there. Mm -mm -mm. That's a different recipe of seasoning there. I just been trying it. I put it on some eggs yesterday, baby. Ooh. Baby. All right, let's taste that again. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's it right now. Mm-hmm. That's it though. I'm gonna take that, put it in this bowl. Huh? And that's my potato salad. I don't like all that extra stuff in potato salad. If you if you're the type of person that don't eat potato salad, and it ain't just because of the mayonnaise, and it's because people be too doing too much with it. Trust me, you'll love my potato salad. Cause I don't like I don't like potato salad like that neither. My friend guy, he came over the weekend. I had made some coleslaw. And he was like, TT, what did you do to your coleslaw? He said, because I really don't like coleslaw, but that coleslaw is on point. And I was like, 
I'm just simple with it. I don't do too much with my stuff. Like, don't nobody want to be crunching on all that, all that damn celery and bell pepper. And if you like it, that's up to you. But, mm -mm, baby, I don't like crunching on all that raw stuff, <clears throat> all that raw vegetables like that. Mm -mm. If I use bell peppers and onion, onions and stuff, it's going to be cooked unless it's like a burger or something. But other than that, it's going to be cooked. But when you raised up eating it like that, you know, it don't bother you. I ain't raised up eating it like that. All right, so that's potato salad. All right, so now let's get the fish going. take this mustard with me because baby I gotta have some mustard on my fish all right y'all ring that doorbell for me hit the thumbs up the like button y'all see yep y'all can see all right let me get over here get this here so i can see what y'all can see Okay, I got my grease heating up. It's probably already hot. All right. Yeah, it's hot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start frying this fish here. I got me some seasoned cornmeal. My fish is seasoned. We're going to take that fish today. We ain't got time to let it sit. We're just going to drop that fish down and let it go. Another piece on drop down this bag. Come on back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Y'all hit that like button for me. Ring the doorbell is what I like to call them.
Yeah, this is a new one. All right, we're gonna whip up some bread for some um, fried hush puppies. Hush puppy whole cake. Let that fish, you see, don't touch that fish. Just let it build up a crust. Get nice and crispy. up some bread y'all know I got this flat cornmeal plain I call it flat because it's gonna be flat oh. all right so so this cornmeal I got me some yellow cornmeal get you some self rising I'm just using this up because I got it but get you some self rising some cornmeal When you get the self rising, you ain't got to do all this stuff I'm finna do to it. I'm finna put some flour with that right there. Now one of these rising. To make it taste like hush puppy, add you some onion powder. If you don't feel like cutting up no onion. Add a little salt to it. And I just put pepper. I don't know why. I just do. Then we're going to throw some sugar up in there because I like it sweet. Since now we're on self rising, I need some baking powder. I'm just going to put enough where I think it's enough. Crack me an egg up in there. Throw a little milk off up in there. You can use water. Right done. All right, so now we're about to get ready to turn this fish up. See, 
you don't build up a crust. We got crispy on one side. Roll that over, let it get crispy on the other. Got to fry that tail crispy because I eat the tail too, y'all. There go that fish. Let it get brown. Fill it on for my cornbread over here. We're gonna do some fried. Okay, cornbread. But it's gonna taste like hush puppies. Only difference is with the hush puppy is the onion. So that's why I put the onion powder so it has that hush puppy taste. We're going to go ahead and take that fish up out of there. Show it to you. Hold up. Let me drop this here. Love the fish. You want to have a good fry like that. So we about to okay, y'all see. Fry this bread. Check on that fish. Crispy and pretty fried fish. Catfish, that is. Alright. So now we're going to get us some oil in this pan to fry this bread.
Yes, ma'am. Nice and go to brown. Y'all ring that doorbell for me. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm happy to have you. Drop that fish down. Don't be poking it with no knife, no fork, no none of that. That's some cat head cornbread. And some whole cakes, girl. I'm going to eat good. Then she's going to be glad to see me coming. So they get down in that middle, y'all know. Especially when they thick like this. You only need one of them.
make sure they're done, y'all. Keep, keep flipping them and keep them from burning. Y'all, we got 200 people up in here. Do I got at least 150 likes? If you don't mind, if you want the ones that did not hit the like button, will you please ring the doorbell for me, y'all? That's what I call the do That's what I call the like button, the doorbell. I like my fish fry hard, though. And you gotta get them. You gotta get them. Um, them fins fry hard too. Yes, ma'am. So you can crunch down on them.
fry this. Okay, hush puppy. Homemade potato salad. That is the that is my Mother's Day dinner for Grandma. I hope she don't love it. And freeze it. Y'all have a fantastic weekend, Mother's Day, if I don't see y'all, which I know I will. Y'all know I will.
pick on my beautiful self just in case y'all didn't get a chance to see my outfit. I did a live before this, so y'all go check that live out. good day today girl i gotta go spray down because i know i smell like honey all kinds of good old fried fish honey but anyway peace love many many blessings to each and every one of y'all y'all have a good weekend happy friday happy mother's day once again y'all have y'all enjoy y'all weekend honey start today don't wait the sunday start today you better turn up one time for the one time and if there's nobody tell you that they love you i love you all right, peace out, y'all.